Hey, welcome to Space Chicken. Uh, the podcast that can only be found exclusively wherever we put it. Uh, today on Space Chicken, we're talking anti-consumerism. I know, I know everyone listening just got rock hard at the, ta- the thought of talking anti-consumerism. Um, joining me as occasionally, um, now in the top spot of the V formation, uh, because Trump won, is the white guy, Scott. Say hi, Scott. Uh, hello. All right. Uh, and then to my right, uh, your left? No, also your right. Yeah. No, my left, your right. Um, is Wilson. Say hi, Will. Hi. And then as, of course, uh, it is no right answer to himself, Danny. Um, so Mike couldn't join us today, uh, which is a damn shame. But, um, the craziest thing happened to him, uh, he was, uh, as, as we all know, Mike is a single man, and he was doing single man stuff. And uh, while he was doing single man stuff, he was going to be able to do single man stuff with a single woman, right? So he got super excited, and a lot of people don't know is he has a little treasure box where he keeps his condoms. Um, and he was like super excited. I'm going to go to my, my treasure box. And the little treasure box, you know, it's like it's about this big, and when you open it, it actually has a little ballerina that spins and like it is, you know, it's like a wind up treasure box. You guys know what I'm talking about? It goes. Ding, 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 he, ding, he really ding, told you a lot of ding. details about this. He, he, no, I just. <laughs> it's very I've seen. I I've seen the chest, but just so you know, it's it's a ballerina, but the ballerina is actually a frog. You, a, you're not gonna it's, pass it's a frog by that. In a, in a this is the dress. chest that he keeps his like condoms in. Yes. So yes. Why, what are yes. you doing? <laughs> looking at his little ballerina. We. Was we, something going on? Okay, for the record, I wasn't looking at his little ballerina because that sounds sexual. <laughs> um, and we just share stuff. You know how me and you have secrets about oh, your actual origins. Um, we, we, you know, really? I, I happen to know the little, uh, the little treasure box condom secret. Anyway, he couldn't find the key. Right, <laughs> right. He couldn't find the key, which is very upsetting because he was going to copulate, and he was like, "I gotta copulate really hard," uh, which is weird uh, way to put it. But, uh, but that's what he was going to do. So he went into his basement uh, looking for his key of copulation uh, so that he could get his prophylactic out and, uh, and uh, condomize his penis. And, um, and uh, he actually found this old mirror, like this old kind of like personal, like life-size like mirror thing that he hadn't seen in such a long time. So he took it. He, 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 it was like it had like, a, like one of those like, uh, hey, we're in a basement for a long time covers. You guys know what I'm talking about? It had one of those on it. So, you know, he pulled it off. He goes, oh, God, I haven't seen this mirror in such a long time. And then he slipped, fell into the mirror, turns out, portal to Narnia. And we don't know when we're going to see him again. So, Mike, <laughs> currently in Narnia, uh, current whereabouts of the girl, um, I think still locked in his apartment. Um, for anybody that tuned out mentally, uh, <laughs> Mike is sick and he'll be back next week. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm super upset he made me look up that song. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But I'm pretty sure, look, at, the Narnia sure thing was a way I'm better sure story. Narnia. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, you were saying? No. All right, so anti-consumerism. So um, the, the, this idea came, this idea, not this idea. I didn't invent anti-consumerism. But this thought came to my mind the other day. Um, you guys know what Amiibo is? Um, oh, the Nintendo. Oh, I, I. You mean this? This? Eh? No, that's eh? an amiibo. No. Uh, amiibo, an M E V O. No All idea. Right. I, no I'm, idea. I'm gonna pop up a picture real quick of amiibo. All right, but amiibo is a camera. All right, and it's a, it's a, it's a new camera. Okay. And it is a uh, awesome little uh, uh awesome little doohickey there. Um, let's do this and then let's do this nope let's not do that why did i do that i don't want to do that i want to do this and then i want to do this and then i want to save image as and then okay so it is a cool little camera um that you can do like live stuff on it so suppose the microphone's really good and you can do like on the fly editing so you know we do a lot of video stuff um us being us and uh and it would have been cool to have one for on the go because as you know uh-huh. we be on the go and we were talking about doing a podcast over at the brewery and we we're talking about doing some other stuff like uh like i have an unboxing for this really cool chair that i have now you see this one behind me um 
and all that stuff and and the cell phone camera is good enough but it's not quite there i was looking to get into lg v20 just because it was a uh, camera phone with a with a better er uh, camera and sound quality to it and i was like super stoked to get it then i found out about this little guy and i got super excited so this little guy will record the video for you and you can edit it on the fly like i was saying but on an app right mm. and this app is available only on the iphone um or i should say the apple line of products like like not mm. not just the iphone the ipad but 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 the apple store so it now occurred to me that now me as a consumer right as a consumer uh, i can't buy this right because it would be useless to me for me to buy it even though i want it i can't buy it right and I am unaware of this company having some type of exclusivity deal with Apple. I, I don't want to imply that. I don't have any knowledge that that's the case. So with that being said, even if they had an exclusivity thing, they're being inherently anti-consumer, right? They're telling me, guy with money who wants to buy this thing, no, 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 you can't buy this thing for reasons that we've created in order to essentially box you out, either out of uh, laziness um, intent, uh, they all happen to have iPhones, so they developed it for the iPhone because that's what they use, forgetting that most of the world doesn't even have an iPhone. And this is something, you know, when I had a Windows phone, I felt it a lot. And um, I, I was able to be okay with it because we were only like a 10% market share in shrinking at the time. But if you can think of all of the pockets of population that only represent 10% of the population, that it would be okay to discriminate against. This is the same as discriminating, but I'm saying that, that it would be okay to say, hey, no, we're not acknowledging you because it's not worth it. Um, you would be like, hey, you're just kind of fucking us for no reason. Um, so on the one hand, you have like profit margins, but in this particular case, you actually expand your market base. So you're being inherently anti-consumer. And to bring it back around to video games, and I had this discussion when we were talking Destiny, and the exclusivity of them of some stuff being available to PlayStation players and not Xbox players, when the reality situation is we both bought the same thing, you once again be anti-consumer. I wanted to talk about the broader spectrum of how exclusivity amongst platforms is anti-consumer. Scott, your turn. Oh uh, wow! Um, <laughs> wow, so, what a way to pass the ball there. Ooh. So yeah, go ahead, Scott. I mean, yes, yeah, it's um, hot, right? Right, that potato yeah. is hot. A potato. I, I I might have a different view than you. I I, I well, think fuck that, you then. Podcast I, over. <laughs> no, go ahead. Podcast, podcast <laughs> over. Um, well, I mean, with this camera, I kind of look at it with a lot of apps for phones, and and this will br this will branch into video games, right? Um, with something like iOS, it's kind of like the place to be right now as far as making money. So if you're going to start a product. You know why not start it on the most broad-reaching platform? And I know that Android has has a lot of people, but um, Android is the broader platform. I think that the I think that iOS is where the money is right now for for that kind of stuff. So I can see somebody wanting to be in that kind of niche. But my whole thing is, I don't. If the company wants to do that, they can do that. I mean, I don't really consider it anti-consumer. Right. I, 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 you know, like who, why would, who's going to make them make a product for people? You know, it's their own damn thing. Right. Like I see with games because like, yeah, if you make a game for, um, uh, Xbox and you don't make it for PlayStation, is that really anti-consumer or is that them just saying, well, we only really want to develop for this one system because we only have the resources for this one system or we only, well, we only like this one system, you know, we don't like PlayStation. Is that really anti-consumer or is that just kind of like uh, it's my business and my product and I want to do whatever the hell I want to do with it? Um, that's, okay, so that's really good, right? Because there, there, there is the, the rights of the person like producing it. And I'm not I'm not trying to pass a law here, right? That's not what I'm doing. I'm not lobbying Congress. Legis legislation. Yeah, to say, hey, you must do this. I'm talking about the spirit We're of gonna it. We're going to see him in CNN. For yeah, sure. that's, that's, I'm going to be on Fox News going, we need to. <laughs> you know, we busted up the antitrust, but we want everyone to make for it. That's, that, that's, that's not what I'm saying. But in the case of this, like you say, it's where it is to make the money. The app is free. Like, right. like, like you're, you're, you're not making more money 
when you're offering something free because the product is actually the camera. That's the actual product in this instance. So I'm going to focus on the on, on the, before we branch out onto broader strokes of like uh, apps that come out on the Android platform tend to be free and ad supported when the same apps that come out on iOS or pay for apps that are ad free. And neither one gives you the option for the other one because Apple has trained their consumer base to pay for apps while Android has trained their computer base. Uh, their consumer base that apps are free and ad supported. So there's two different cultures of apps. That's totally a thing. And I get that this app is free. This app is free and you get it because you buy the camera to my knowledge. And I wouldn't know, I don't have an Apple thing nor the camera to fox with it. But, uh, but this camera only, uh, this app only works with the camera. So it's not even a free app to do other things with. So the product remains the camera. While the software is just a support for it. It's kind of like back in the day when you used to buy a, I don't know if people remember, there used to be these GPSs that were not in phones. And you could buy them and plug them into your computer to update God. the maps. Right? Do you remember that? It was so crazy. It's such a weird time. <laughs> Fucking cave people drawing Long maps on, on screens. Anyway, um, what do you call it? There was a software suite for the, uh, the Garmin's or whatever the hell Tom Tom's Magellan. Or Tom Tom's. Yeah. Magellan. Yeah, but you could just download that and it just plugs into the, to the thing. You couldn't do anything else with it other than plug it into the thing, and, that, and that's the type of app this is. It only works with this, so that and that's why I picked this out to be my but one because I wanted it, and then then I got pissed um, that it wouldn't work uh, for me. Um, and then of course there's all these holiday sales going. But anyway, what what, what I'm saying is that this particular decision whether it's due to man whatever it is it's 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 not pro consumer does that make sense so like, uh, like I'm, a, I'm a little bit confused yeah. through, through this whole thing uh when you're talking about this camera right yeah. immediately i'm like ah this is like nintendo right so nintendo makes you know all of the mario games and okay. really like consolidated to that one system so you're forced to go to that direction? So, no, that is a different mm. thing, right? And here's the thing. Uh -huh. If Apple made that camera, uh -huh. right, it's not anti-consumer, right? Because Apple makes it and then make the operating system for it, and then they have an ecosystem that goes with it, right? It, it's, it's like why if Apple doesn't want to make phones to run Android, Right. They're like, hey, you know, I, I, I already make all this stuff, so I'm just going to I'm just going to keep it in house. That's not anti consumer. That's making like an ecosystem. This is a thing that's not attached to it. Right. And, and this is how we can bring it back to video games. When first party Microsoft, first party Sony and first party Nintendo make games exclusive to their systems, that's not mm -hmm. anti consumer. They own that stuff. OK. You see that? Like, that belongs to them. But when Activision makes an exclusive game, when Square Enix makes an exclusive game, when Capcom decides that Street Fighter V is only going to be on the PlayStation, all of those things are anti-consumer because their fans, the people who want it, are not tied to the thing. Like, it's not that people who have um, Apple, who, who work in the Apple ecosystem want this camera people want this camera and the company that makes it has made the decision that the apple people are going to have it and no one else is going to have it till they get around to it that's what the website says paraphrase until they get around to it but it is inherently going this group of people can get it for essentially arbitrary reasons because i can't even say mevo is making money off of it like i can't even blame them for that it's a money thing for them. Like I said, I don't think they so, have any deal with Apple and they're not making money off the app. This might just well be a manpower issue because they are an independent company until they get bought by someone. Um, gotcha. So, so I think the biggest problem for this is that now you're being forced to buy yourself an iPod touch or, you know, some last gen, if you want this device, right? Oh no, I'm, I'm not being forced to do anything. I just can't have the device. But if you, if I, you like, I want can't it, have it. I, I can't have okay. it. Okay, so you're... It, I, I can't have it because I'm, so it sounds, I'm not going to turn and invest in an entire ecosystem for it. All right, so... All right, what I'm thinking, I'm trying to bring this into games as much as I can right now. All mm -hmm. right, like I, uh, like Resident Evil used to be very... was only PlayStation, right? Yes. Until recently. Yes. Uh, I forget. 
right? Okay. So one of the things when I got Xbox, one of the games that I missed from PlayStation was Resident Evil. I very much enjoyed it. Um, it sucks. But they eventually came around and made one for Xbox, right? Yes. And and that's kind of like I I look at this situation. I say that's not really anti-consumerism. I think it's a dumbass move, but I think that like they're shorting themselves on business. And what happens is if this guy is only going to make it for one platform, somebody else is going to make it for every platform. So I, I, it's hard for me to call anti-consumer because I'm saying like you know they didn't make Resident Evil for Xbox right away, right? I can't I can't fault them so for doing that. When they made that decision. Was it pro consumer? <laughs> right? So if we go back to think about it when it happened in terms of pro gaming. Profit. No, <laughs> it, no, it, it, it wasn't pro profit. The pro profit move is to make your product available to the biggest group of people. That that is pro profit, right? That is why the third party exclusivity deals ended, right? Because mm-hmm. there was a time when those exclusivity deals were driven by um the game. Uh, console people where they were like, Hey, I will give you a million dollars if you just make this game just for us. And the game publishers would go, you got it. Give me the million. And then they started doing the math on it. And they went, wait a minute, I can make $3 million from this section of people over here. And then they started doing it the other way. So that's kind of like when that changed with the exception of Japanese companies who don't make for non-Japanese systems out of racism. But we're not going <laughs> to, we're not going to delve into that, but that type of mentality is anti-consumer, right? So when you're doing things not for the consumer, when you're not making it available to the largest amount of people, right? Uh-huh. When you're excluding consumers, a group, when you're excluding groups of consumers, you're being anti-consumer. That no, but, no, no matter what the reason behind it. Isn't it? But then it's impossible to not be anti-consumer because... There is going to be some platform at some place that's not getting whatever it is. Like if this thing, this camera they released on Android and iOS, right? You would be like, okay, that's pro-consumer, but it's still not on Windows Phone, so it's still anti-consumer because it's not covering them. It's still not on BlackBerry, so it's anti-consumer because it's not covering them. It's not on what? BlackBerry. What is that? Yeah, exactly. But there are still people that use. It. I actually work with somebody who has a BlackBerry phone. Um, Everybody works with and, BlackBerry. They, they they somehow still have like enterprise contracts. It's a fucking weird. I don't, I don't they do. Know. They moved on to Android now. Um, but my 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 whole thing is is like it's impossible. It's impossible to to make something available to every single person. You know, because I, I, you could I guess you could call it a pro consumer move or an anti consumer move i guess you could i guess you could maybe say that but i i don't i don't know i just hmm. i when just we, feel like when, when, when we look at percentages of the market that are close to 50 percent, and you exclude mm-hmm. those people for whatever the reason it's anti-consumer right like 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 we 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 can at least agree on that right like i said i i can take the 10 percent and the five percent market share people and go you can you can show me a cost benefit analysis and go, not worth it to invest. And I can go, all right, that's shitty for that portion of it, but at least you can prove to me where it is that 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 mathematically it doesn't make sense. When we talk about video games and you, and you as, a, as a third-party publisher go, I am going to make for platform X and that platform Y, you're being anti-consumer because we're split down the middle Essentially, it's Sony and Microsoft, right? And then weird people own Nintendos, right? That, that, that's pretty much where it is. So mm. if, if you but, go, if you're not owned by Sony or Microsoft and you actively choose not to publish your game for the other, you're being anti-consumer. So where, where, do, where does uh, exclusivity come from then in, in that model? Exclusivity because is anti-consumer. That's, that's the, ar- the argument I'm making is that okay. exclusivity is inherently anti-consumer. Mm, I see what you're saying now. And so it, something like so you're saying something like Uncharted is anti-consumer. No, Uncharted is owned by Sony. They that's are? their intellectual property. And that, that's Naughty Dog. Not, yeah, Naughty not, Dog. Naughty Dog is owned by Sony. So that intellectual property is owned by the people who who make the system. They own both. That's an anti-consumer. 
it belongs to them, right? Mm, okay. They're not making a video game. They're doing Sony stuff, right? So if somebody Kingdom made... Hearts, the original Kingdom Hearts, right? Was was the original, the original Kingdom Hearts was available on Xbox, right? No. Okay. no, I don't think it was. No. The original Dead Rising. I have that actually from only my only on Xbox. Only on Xbox, made by Capcom. Uh, it was, it was made yeah. by Capcom. Yeah. Microsoft mm-hmm. does not own Capcom, and that came out mm-hmm. only for the X. That was anti-consumer. Mass Effect One only coming out for the Xbox originally, not coming out for the for the PlayStation. Later came out in the Mass Effect Collection, right? Which is a great way to come back and go. We still love you. That was <laughs> that was an anti-consumer move. There was no reason that it couldn't come out on both. There comes a gray area when like when new systems launch. And it's like learning new technology and whatever. But about two years into like a game system's life cycle, all the third-party publishers have zero to gain from doing anything exclusivity. Bloodborne. Bloodborne. That was by the people <laughs> who <laughs> make... Um... Borderlands. No. What's that game? I, uh, what's that game I always say sucks? Destiny? No. No. Um... Soul something, um, whatever. That garbage fucking game that blows. Dark Souls. Uh, Dark, Dark people, Souls, there it is. Yeah, the, 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 the people who, who made the... the I've, I've purged my mind of that shit game. Um, the people who make uh, Dark Souls made Bloodborne, and they made it a Sony exclusive. What? Anti-consumerism. That's, that is anti Now, that doesn't hurt my feelings, right? They could have fucking published that in the closet somewhere. For the Commodore 64, I wouldn't have given a shit. Because it's basically just a Dark Souls game that doesn't say Dark Souls. Um, all that stuff is against, like, us, right? It's against us, the people who play the mm. games, right? Like, we are the consu- in this situation, we're the consumer, right? You, if, you, if you want to sell this, I, I kind of, I'm almost feeling like we're past the point of selling systems on games. Like, I, I, I know that sounds weird and, and that pisses people off. A lot, like it was part of the so demise I, of all of the all, all of the extra features Xboxes used to have. Was uh, when the Xbox came, Xbox One came out, they're like, "Look at all the stuff the Xbox does. It isn't video games." And everyone was like, "Show us the games!" And I was like, "Activision is gonna make the games. EA is gonna make the games. Let them make the games. I want to know what the system does. That's different than the other thing that is going to play games, right?" So, so when people go, "Oh, you can't have this game because..." I don't know. I don't have a really good fucking reason. It, it gets weird. And again, I'm not talking about first party titles. First party titles are intellectual properties of the people who make the systems. So I have a question then. Mm-hmm. Do you do you feel that all anti-consumer moves are bad moves? Yes. And I ask that. Yes, I'm gonna because... I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bait. Yes, all of them. And I, I ask that because do you think that Anti, hold on. Do you think that anti-consumer moves might force oh. people to, I don't know, choose a different place or force people to innovate more or come out with better products to maybe have them go purchase something else? So, like, if you're saying, oh, a game okay, is just, coming out. Just, just real quick. Just so, so, so for people who, who listen to the podcast oh. and watch the, and don't, don't watch the podcast, because the majority of people who experience our, our, our ravings and our self-righteous uh, game speak. Uh, listen, not watch. Uh, he just held up. Um, you know, tell your phone story. Tell, 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 tell the phone story real quick. And I'm going to tell you why oh. that's not anti-consumerism <laughs> in the sense that I'm talking about it. I, I, it's, I, it's, I, it's, I it's just shitty Apple philosophy. But go ahead. Okay. Tell, tell your story real quick. All right, real quick. I had an iPhone 5C. And I had a Windows phone. And the Windows phone fried. And the iPhone 5C got to the end of its life. It's four years old. And it still works, but it's not – it's four years old. You know, I'm not jumping around on it doing stuff too good. So I had to get a new phone. So I was going to switch and go to Android, but I really wanted, like, something like a Google Pixel, but I couldn't get it. I'm not on Verizon, blah, blah, blah. And Google was sold out, so I needed a phone. So I went and got an iPhone 7, and I had forgotten that they removed the headphone jack, which was fine, whatever. Not okay. Um, not okay. But – uh, the fact that it's, it's got a lightning port now and you can't connect the lightning port headphones to anything. So we sat down for this podcast and I couldn't find my other headphones. I grabbed them. I came in here and I can't use them. 
Like you can't even use them on the if you had a Mac, if you had a, a damn new Mac Pro, 2016, 2000 dollar Mac Pro, um, without a dongle or some crap like that. So anyway, I held up the actual cord, you know, because it was a move that I felt was maybe can be considered anti-consumer if you really wanted to say that. You're putting everybody at a at a at a in a in a crappy position. I don't know. Uh, but it's their company. They can do whatever the hell they want. And it might make people go, nah, maybe I want to go someplace else, you know, or maybe somebody else is going to innovate better. And and that's when I looked at games like when you're talking about games coming out only for one system. Well, maybe games are only coming out for PS4 and that forces Microsoft to do something to increase their system, you know, because eventually it feels like when you're talking about it, if all these games are coming out the exact same thing for both systems, da, 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 each system is the same fucking thing, then what's the what's changing? What's the difference between the two systems? Right. And maybe exclusivity suck. But that could force them to keep innovating. Otherwise, they're going to come up with the same basic system settings, and this is going to be the same fucking games. And it's just going to be like, well, I prefer this controller over this controller. Blah 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 blah. So, so, so I, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to quickly rebuke you and then shift the focus to cell phones. That, that I, I I think if if I did that, you you could understand what I'm saying as far as exclusivity goes. Um. The, the two systems essentially have the same specs, right? Essentially. They're not exactly the same, but they essentially have the same specs. They both have what would be considered at the time of their production high-end specs that were also affordable for them to mass produce, right? And they both made decisions, so they're within a little bit of each other, right? So so for, from that end, like technologically there's development kits that go into both of them but aside from that the specifications that you're working with are within range and considering most of these companies also develop for pcs that have a full range of specifications that they often make it work with there's no reason that they can't just make it for both systems and that the difference between the two systems has to be the difference between the two systems and not the games that come out for them from the third party and how I'm going to switch this now over to cell phones so everyone understands there is not a single fucking reason on earth that there are cell phone exclusives. There isn't a one. There is not a one. We accept it in that part of our lives too. And just so you know, other countries on earth, other ones do not accept. Put it down. He just put up Super Mario <laughs> Run. I think that game literally came out today or yesterday. Um, He's hooked. Uh, what do you uh, <laughs> just so you know that that the app's already been cloned fifty times on Android already, um, <laughs> and and it's called Super Plumber so Jump or something like that. Wow. Um, so uh, uh, Wait, is, it, is that an, isn't that exclusive though to iOS? To Android? Yes, yes, yes. Um, Super Plumber isn't. But but that's Super like the, but 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 again, part part of that is is the 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 Japanese people associating Apple with Americans and and they want to have it reached their memory. Anyway, listen, what, like what I'm saying is like when the iPhone first came out, it was exclusive to AT&T. No real reason for that. And then one day they just had it available for everybody. It was like, Oh, hooray. Everyone. Um, uh, windows See, but- phones did that. Um, right now. Um, Oh man. So with, with the two that you just said right there, yeah. right. Didn't that force everyone to switch over to AT&T, take up a shitty contract, and get an iPhone? While the other side, which is Windows, who goes, hey, guys, I am an, I'm anti-consumer. I don't want to adopt new apps and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then they <laughs> sailed into the sunset and died. <laughs> so it, isn't it like both sides? Because well, it, it seems like Windows... Fell into the anti consumer. Uh, they lost okay. their consumers. While okay, Apple yeah, gained. Okay. That specifically, though, I don't want to go for too far. That <laughs> whole, going down a rabbit hole. Here. Because that whole thing is an yeah. entire conversation on Microsoft's strategy concerning their mobile platform. And that's a whole fucking can of worms that delves into both anti consumerism, lack of any actual real promoting, and uh, beautiful phones up with an immature OS. But. What I'm saying is, like, uh, other phones have it. Uh, Verizon has to have their own variant of every phone. And it's not because of their CDMA ban. 
um, you can just build all those bands into a phone and then just turn them on and, and, and let them be uh, a network. All of the phone companies, with the exception of T-Mobile, and only in the past four years, were all anti-consumer in nature. They didn't give a shit about you or what you wanted to buy or how you wanted <clears throat> to purchase it. And and it was there's there's been a small revolution is not the right world but evolution in the way things are done and we have this weird hybrid like close to like what they have in Europe but not what they have in Europe because what they have in Europe is complete freedom to buy whatever phone they want and call up their network and put it on here you still get it you still get a little pushback from uh, uh from the big two AT and T and Verizon. So that, I mean, I think if you look at it in terms of that, it'll be a little simpler for you to understand. What should the difference be? It shouldn't be what phones you can get on the network. It should be the quality of network and pricing of the plans, right? Like, that, that it's, it's a simpler thing to understand, I think, when you think of it as cell phones. It shouldn't be what phones you can get on Verizon. It should be the quality of the network on Verizon and the pricing and the customer service. And it should be that way about games. If you, if you consider the games that come out for each system, like a cell phone and the people who make the systems as a service provider, you you would be pissed as we've been pissed as a society for a decade of, of like having cell phones every day. We've had, yeah, for about 15 years, it's been like, that. oh, cell phones. Ah. Like, uh -huh. like we are annoyed at that thought, but when it comes to video games, we're not annoyed by that thought. When it came to this camera, the first thing you said is like, well, you know, you can't tell that company what to do, but like, I'm not trying to tell a company what to do. I'm saying what that company is doing is shitty. And what I'm trying to say is that also what the game companies do when they do the same thing, when there's an exclusivity that's not tied to it. If Verizon made its own phones, I would not say, hey, you should have it on AT&T as well, right? That would be fucking bananas. So it, when Sony makes their own games, when Microsoft makes their own games, even it's just games that they own and make other people make for them. Before we get into the thing before the publisher and the developer, like I understand that they're separate. But I'm just let you know, broad strokes here, right? And when Nintendo, who owns all of that fucking historic intellectual property, makes it, and it's only available on those systems, and the specs are similar, right? Because he, here we can leave Nintendo Wii behind, because Nintendo Wii uh -huh. was not was not technologically on par with the same generation, and I don't think the Wii U was was on par either with the I feel same like the, thing, right? The Wii U was like the Dreamcast of this generation. Right, just so, fell somewhere awkwardly. Like I love the Dreamcast, you know, by the way. Sega <laughs> CD. Awesome. Can't say that about the Wii U, though. <laughs> That's a record show. So, I love me some Dreamcast. So, um, I guess trying to hit home, right? Uh, how then do both of you feel about uh, Microsoft and Sony, which are the big two, right? With mm -hmm. let's not include Nintendo. Um, Microsoft comes out and goes, oh. It's just a matter of turning on a switch and people can play multiplayer together. So it, where does that fall in this whole thing? Because I feel like it's Verizon and AT&T telling you you can't call each other. I, I didn't they, I remember them saying, right, Microsoft was putting out that you were going to be able to um, play PC to Xbox or whatever. And they're open to making it so you could play people on PlayStation. And didn't they say like Microsoft was like, yeah, we're cool with that. We're, we're, we're into that, but PlayStation never responded to that or something. So, hold on. I feel were, like that happened. Were you making an analogy to Xbox and Live, the, or were you making an analogy to cross-platform play? Um, Cross-platform play. Okay. So, is Continue. it anti Sorry, I, 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 yeah, no, I just need to understand that. So, so I wasn't following. Scott was totally following. I was fucking so is in it my anti, Is it anti-consumer that Sony is going... Oh, well, we just want you to play on our platform. And if your buddies want to play with you, guess what? They have to get a Sony system. So they're essentially like blocking that whole group of people off from everyone else. Well, no. I, and I, and the, 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 the reason I, I would say that that was different is because I would need to have more details on like who's running the servers, right? Be, be, because all, all that stuff has to be paid for. When you talk about well, cell phones, right? There's this weird back room deal. When cell phones first came out, like if you were in a dead zone, you would just not have service. And then all of a sudden that turned into roaming charges. And now it's just 
everyone uses everyone else's cell phone network no matter where they are and we just really don't talk about it right i mean uh -huh. if if you don't have service with one phone network and you go to an in a place that has like at&t but it doesn't have t-mobile you just jump on the at&t network and it used to be called roaming and now it's just you're on someone else's network no biggie you know what i'm yeah. saying like you can't do a horizon though because horizon cdma so mm -hmm. it's it's a different band but the um the other open bands they just kind of jump on each other's network so it's just real bastardization of the system mm -hmm. So, I, so I, 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 what you're saying sounds to me closer. Like, I have Verizon internet, yeah. and someone has Cablevision internet, and then us not being able to communicate. But I feel like if the servers are being like run by Sony, you know, like if that network's being maintained by them and they own that network, then I'm comfortable giving them a say who can get on and off that network. But then let's, right? let's, Throw an example out there, right? Let's say we're talking um, Call of Duty, right? Everybody Kaka plays Duki. Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Kakadooki. <clears throat> uh, run by Activision slash Blizzard, right? Okay. Blizzard does stuff on PC. Activision does things wherever the hell they can pocket money from people. Um, they run their own servers. So technically, even on the Xbox, you're connecting to a Activision Blizzard server. Same thing for PS4. So can't they just just meh. connected to? Aren't they being anti-consumer by saying, uh, no, don't play with your buddy? If the technology exists to make that happen, and it's not like at cost to one of the parties, that 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 is to say, like what the example you're giving is an Activision server that would that's hosting both Sony and Xbox people. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, then yeah, it's 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 a shitty move. It's yeah, that 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 then you're absolutely correct. That's that's fucking that's anti us. Okay, all right. But Does again, it, it, but again, I'm making a lot of assumptions of something I'm not particularly learned about. <laughs> like like I'm not I'm not talking with I, zero confidence as to what could happen. But I will tell you that um that as far as doing it with PC people, I'm incredibly uh, against that um uh, because this. Which I love playing with does not compare to this. It like it doesn't. That's proven. Does not compare. And uh, um, there was a cross uh, cross platform weekend for uh, Gears of War, and a buddy of mine loves to play him some Gears, and he said they got absolutely wrecked by the PC players, absolutely wrecked. And it's just because the mouse and keyboard is just more accurate. It's just a more <laughs> accurate. It's My faster. Like yeah. you can turn faster. I'll, I'll give you um, a, a prime example of uh, of the competitive disadvantage. I play Smite, right? PC and Xbox. Play more on Xbox than on PC. A Medusa, right? Her ultimate is to look at you and turn you to stone. You can avoid the getting turned to stone by turning away. You only t you take the damage, but you don't turn to stone unless you look at her. On PC, you just turn away, and it's no big deal. On Xbox, it's so much harder to turn away. Like, you just can't do it fast enough because the thumbstick just doesn't, like... The sensitivity is not fast enough. If you put the sensitivity high enough on the thumbstick to do that, you won't be able to do everything else. With your mouse, you could literally just toss your mouse across uh, across your, your desk <laughs> and you're facing the other way. And then you can still keep the rest of the sensitivity to where you're at to aim accurately. So, it, hmm. it was just, it was a different, it was eye-opening to him because he's never gamed on PC before and, and I was warning him that if that ever happened, he would get crushed, and uh, and and he did. And it's not because he's a bad gears player; like that's not what it is. That's okay, just, I see. I see where you're yeah. going. So that's just a side note. That part's not necessarily anti-consumerism as much as it is is pro PC master gaming race. Yeah. So uh, the the thing is, I'm I'm still trying to wrap my head around how it's being anti-consumer, right? So it's like Scott was saying, you have an example like uh, Apple still like making like bags of money right not enough to take it to a bank they have to like put it underneath a couch somewhere um yet they're like limiting all types of consumers the new macbook pro all it has is one type of usb c port and so, literally, you have to buy dongles upon dongles. Specifically concerning Apple, Apple has created a culture amongst its consumers, right? It's trained its consumers. Very important thing um, to do 
for a company is to train the people who buy your stuff and create a culture. That is that 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 that's one hundred percent what everyone does. That's why you can say that there's Android people and there's Apple people. For for example, um, I've I've done all th- all three. I've never I've never had a BlackBerry, um, but I, I've I've had a, a iPhone. I've had an Android. I had a Windows, and then I went back to Android. Right. Um, and not a Samsung, by the way. I, I don't like the Samsung phones. Um, but ha- having done all that, I, I will tell you each phone. Like, the people who are into it, like, that's a culture. That's, like, a subculture of not just, like, technophiles, but of fucking humans. It's gross. It's it's really weird. Um, and Apple has just trained their people to, to go. Like, I've literally seen people go, oh, my God, no, it's great. You don't need a headphone jack. Wireless is the future. They make these wireless buds. I'm like, they've made wireless headphones for Motorola fucking did years. It. Yeah, and that's not a new technology, but they've now convinced you that it's new. Just like when they convinced you when copy-paste uh, was new. Um, when they fucking convi- uh, when they're sending pictures through text message was new. That's just what they've done. Um, there's been a lot of, of and this iteration specifically concerning the MacBook. Not so much concerning the iPhone. They're letting it slide on the iPhone. Concerning the MacBook, um, when there was all USB-C ports. And it turns everyone's life into a dongle hell. There, there are people out there... Um, in the technology community, literally saying, skip this generation of MacBook Pros. I, they, I, will, I, 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 I think you give it maybe a, a maybe a year, maybe two, and I think folks will follow suit. I, I want to say that when it comes to anti-consumerism, it doesn't bother me so much. And I, maybe because all the examples today don't really bother me. Because maybe that's not something that I need or want to desire. Fuck you, headphone will, guy. What are you talking about? I will about? say, hold on. All right, <laughs> let me explain. Right, in a, in the in in like the free market area we are, right? Anti-consumerism only is a detriment to the company itself, right? Because they're just denying themselves profit. They're just denying themselves themselves money. So in the long run, they're going to end up giving in. Right, they're gonna have to go and and make the game for the other system, or else they're just gonna lose. They're only cheap. They're only losing money themselves. They're costing themselves money if they're anti-consumer. So if if if, if this company, if PlayStation makes, if a uh, Capcom makes a game only for PlayStation, yeah, it sucks. I wish I could play it, but in the long run, they're just losing money. So they're only hurting themselves. And then you just kind of say, well, if they want to do that, fine, let them do that. Somebody else is gonna come out with a game that's better and for both systems, and then I'm gonna play that game. And they're going to make a lot more money. And, so, and like, I, I, I totally agree, except for I feel like they're not learning their lesson, right? So, so look, look, slowly. Look, look so at, for you, look at, look you at how long it took the phone everywhere. companies. Not everywhere, but everywhere, uh, uh, everywhere like enough, right? Yeah, and I, and yeah. I'm not trying to come off as like anti-capitalist or try to tell the companies like what they can and can't do, right? Okay, Bernie. But if fuck you, if we go back, right? Look. <laughs> Look at your whole headphone situation, right? So, so we'll we'll, we'll go at another form of, of, of anti-consumerism, right? When, with the, with the MacBook Pro only having USB-C ports and turning your life into a dongle hell, they are in turn nullifying everything you uh, you own. It's making everything you own yeah. no good anymore in one swoop with no transition period. That's shitty. They could have gone two that, and two. Is... Like they literally could have just gone two and two. They could have gone two of these ports, two of those ports, called it a day, right? But they didn't. They went, fuck you. We don't want to do that. We're going all the way out. Uh, and but, and, and but, then but, that's it. And, but the problem isn't with them doing it, right? And there's, we're running out of time. So I'm not going to be able to get to the to the Lord mm-hmm. overarching, like, Jerry Springer moment. Um, oh, I'll get to it, like, ASAP. Right? But it's our jobs as the consumers. To just right? not buy it. To go, go, fuck you. But the problem that we have is that we don't. Like, we don't, we literally accept it and go, oh, I guess this is it now. I guess I have so, to be with this shitty thing. When I, just like the whole thing, and I, and I, and I stand by it, and I don't want to go back to the Destiny, but we've talked about the Destiny one before. So I don't, so for long-time listeners, I don't have to recap everything. But when Destiny put up the paywall, I threw up the middle finger, walked away, and I'm not going back. When they make Destiny 2 and they fix all the, I don't fucking care anymore. You behave so, a certain way. And, and, I, and I'm jumping off. And, and you have to be that way. When people, when companies do stuff and they're just shitty, to just go, eh, for reasons un, not understood. Ah, money. Bleh. It's like, no. If you're making something, it should be available 
to to everyone in that type of thing. If if that makes so, sense, right? So I I feel like some reverse psychology is going on, right? Because uh, all right, let's where do we start here? Uh, the beginning, oh, right. always a good place to start. Start from the beginning. <laughs> Rock band, all right. Okay. Rock band. Yeah. Every single platform threw a bunch of peripherals at you. Okay. Just hey, you're a consumer. Bye, bye, bye. When brand new guitar that does the same thing as the old guitar. Bye, bye, bye. And then, uh, you know, they they bit the dust, and now you have one rock band that's struggling, right? Um, and it's it's like a dead platform. Now, now hold on, hold on. Now you have Destiny who goes, hey, middle fingers up. Okay, we're putting up a paywall, and then someone like Burke, right? Mike, he gets super excited. He's like, oh, my Who's God, paywall, not here yes. to defend himself. Go ahead. He's like, paywall, yes. I Currently paid for a season pass that uh, is going to be obsolete in a matter of two years. Um, and then he he's a longtime consumer now. Now, from an anti-consumer model of paywall and making it very difficult for you to play the game that they sold you, now they have way more players than they started with. So it sounds like it's a reverse psychology kind of thing. Okay. Same thing with so, iPhone, right? So let's go, uh, let's go back band. a little, right? So when we go to Rock Band, Rock Band coming out with the peripherals over and over again was not anti-consumer. No, I Because like, the old peripherals still worked. Yeah. So it's not like, hey, I made a new game and all that shit you bought is no longer relevant. A rock Band just, it was a fad and the fad died. Like it doesn't matter how, how much they made the fad something you could do. The fad died. That shit just happens. You know, bell bottoms came and went. It doesn't matter how comfortable the bell bottoms were or how, how available the bell bottoms were to everybody. It just, it, it came and went. So that's what happened to Rock Band. Concerning Destiny of the Paywall, Scott just said, these things don't affect him, so he doesn't care, right? Uh, well, and all right. Paraphrasing. Oh, let, let him defend. Paraphrasing, uh, perhaps misquoting, right? Okay. The people that you're talking about, right, those are day oneers, right? They Mike. never. Mike never knew about the paywall. Because the day the paywall dropped, he put the money in to get it, right? He didn't know it was a paywall. It was the expansion. He bought the expansion immediately. He was about that life from day one. All the people who were about that life from day one were in it. When people went in and was like, oh, the community's dead because everyone jumped ship to the next thing, they're like, all right, well, I'm going to put it down so I can get the next thing. People didn't realize that a paywall was put up. Except I think me. I think I was the only one. It was like, is this a paywall? This is no, a no, fucking I'd paywall. Say. I right? think a lot of people realized it. Right, um, but and those people left. But the people yeah. who were not affected from it, because they were going to be on it day one, and since all their people left to go be on it day one until like day 30 when they got their next check, because they could be on it, then they were on it too. So it's not... If you don't feel the effects of it, like you don't care. It's, it's the same thing like everywhere else in the world. If it's not like your topic, like you don't care, like... People don't give a shit about Aleppo unless they care about Aleppo, right? Or they're pretending to care about Aleppo. And, and it, and like, I don't want to, like, compare the two, but it's the same type of psychology where it's like, it doesn't affect me. I don't care. But I, I, the thing is, is like, Scott. I, I, what? No, that's, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> that was directed at you, bro. I think he was the pissed off. serious like shit this... happening in Syria. Yeah. <laughs> You're over here complaining about your headphone jack, you fucking prick. All right. All right. First of all, you all right. So it wasn't that so much that I, I I don't I don't like you made it sound like oh it doesn't bother me so I don't really care what happens and yeah in a lot of those cases I, it wasn't affecting me so I couldn't really necessarily relate to that instance but I mean things like that have happened to me and a lot of times it's pissed me off but I said the it will all correct itself you know and I know that it's you're not it, everything is very like. You know, you're looking at it now and you're saying it hasn't corrected itself. Destiny's still doing it, you know, or whatever. They're still paying. Well. I, I, I but do. like, we're playing when we play Paladins or whatever. Like, like yeah, they put up some paywall that I I didn't want to pay anymore, right? What would I do, right? Like, it would suck because I like playing that game. I put time into it, right? What did you do when they put the paywall up for Destiny? You just said, 
fuck you. I'm moving on. And you went and found a different game. You went and started flying and making ship deliveries in space. And you, who knows if that would have happened if you had been playing Destiny. You had been wrapped up in that game. And here you are, and you've explored all these other games. And, like, yeah, maybe that game's still going because people like Mike are paying into it, right? But in the end of the day, it will correct itself. Or it will just that company will just keep doing that, and you'll just move on and find better things. What's... By the way, I still hold strong that this is a reverse psychology thing, all right? Because <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, paywall, and everyone's like, Oh, okay, fuck you, or, oh, yes, I will pay. I feel like mm. we dismissed that theory, and I feel like here we step to dismissal. <laughs> so, like, do we dismiss it good. again, or do we just... No, no, do we turn good. his microphone off? I think we... Do we, <laughs> do we turn his microphone off? So I feel like it's... Something right. All right, so we resolve nothing, um, as is per <laughs> usual, nothing. On, uh, on the podcast. Um, hey, but we did stay on topic. We did. For one. For the entire episode. Wilson tried to take us off topic, though. Did you see what he did when he was like, hey, Microsoft, Microsoft. corporate fridges. Um, I, that corporate fridges joke, by the way, that, that, that's, a, that's an inside thing. If you guys were cooling in our group chat, you would know. Um, so, show planning and all. Yeah, so, so we're, up to, uh, we're, we're up to the point of the show where we talk about the games that we're playing. Um, Scott, you just got back from your trip from... Where did we say you were? You were not in Russia. I forgot where we said you. Oh, prison. You were in prison. That's right. That's right. You were arrested prison. during a, a Bernie Sanders protest. <laughs> right. Um, for actually yes. burning something. Um, that, that's me to the T. You know Trump me. Tower. Uh, you know me. So, uh, so ha- ha- have you got a chance uh, uh, since you've been back to play some shit? Just, just this. All right, I'm turning your microphone off. <laughs> no, 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 I know. Um, fun. I, I like I said. Uh, I, you know what's been happening with my computer? On a quick side note, I've been getting a blue screen of death, and I can't figure out for life of me why it's happening. And you know how they have that QR code there? The you know Windows 10 now has a QR code. So like when when you get the blue screen of death, you can like take a picture and it t- and it takes you to a link and tells you what whatever the error is. You know, uh-huh. so instead of well, the blue screen of death only lasts for like, what, like 30 seconds, 20 seconds or whatever it is. And every time my phone is not by me. And so I'm running around trying to find my phone. And by the time I get back, my computer shut down. I know. And Scott, then the headphone jack Scott. doesn't work. So you're like, what? <laughs> Scott, we but had no, this conversation. Stop buying those Asian products. I, seriously, I should. But no, I'm playing. I, I just I actually just down. I, I don't like mobile games. And um, I said I'd give this a try. So I've just been playing it. It's been fun. Kind of nostalgic. Um, it's a it's a it's a constant run game. Have you you guys haven't tried it yet? Obviously, um, but it's constant run game. Infinite it's very, runner. Uh, infinite runner. It's infinite runner. There it is. But uh, it's 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 nice because it's got all the uh, you know nostalgic things in it. It's been fun. But I, I I'm really hoping to play some stuff tonight. Maybe. So. All right. Will, tell me you've been playing something not on your phone. Uh, Final Fantasy. I've still been playing Final Fantasy, and uh, thanks to you, now I'm hooked on to Paragon. Paragon, boys. Uh, Paragon. Thanks a lot. I'm coming out with a with a with a Paragon review this weekend um, of how the beta is going so far. Uh, Paragon, for those who don't know, is a MOBA, uh, which is a it's a third person MOBA, which is the only type of MOBA I fucking like. Top down MOBAs are for children and Koreans. Um, <laughs> totally inappropriate. Just gonna yeah. let that sit, guys. What? Let it sit and then prove me wrong. I'm gonna let it sit and then go out there and prove me wrong. Um, It'll be all over the comments. But it's um, it's it's a lot of fun. It's really slow. I'm gonna have a full review. I'm gonna go. Over, uh, they just uh, released a, a new update. This, uh, what was it? Tuesday or so or Monday? And I sat down and I got to mess with it a little bit. So. It'll probably be this video, then the Paragon um, review, or then the Paragon review, then this video. I, I also did a, um, for those of you listening on the on the podcast, the part of it, type harder, Scott, please. Mash your fucking keyboard with a hammer. Just harder, just as hard, just as hard as you can. You have a like an old person. fucking 1886 typewriter in there. Stop. <laughs> Stop! 
Jesus By the way, Christ. I don't think that was a Razer keyboard. I think that was just a regular, <laughs> just a regular... you know, quiet <laughs> keyboard. That is true. I, I, I have that action on mine. I have that. Look. Look, it's one of those it's quiet the ones. It's, it's the, the one that comes in your oh, office God. computer. <laughs> and he's smashing the keys with just vigor and anger. And all I'm thinking no is No wonder all you're getting the blue screen of death. The poor people listening oh. right now. <laughs> And I know they can hear it when I do it, when when I'm like pulling stuff up while, while we're thinking. But God, the aggression that you were typing with! I felt like you were just typing the word "motherfucker," 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 racial slur. <laughs> like, like that's the ferocity that you. All right, all right, all right, all right. What I was doing was downloading Paragon, okay, oh, and right? I was filling out the little information. Oh, okay. So there you go. All right, that's all right. Bad. Oh, he's gonna play with us tonight. Yeah, I'm so yes. excited. I'm so yes. excited. We're gonna have to start with uh, against the bots, though, because um, they're gonna have to play to you. Um. I also did a 21 uh, Odyssey Crate unboxing on the YouTube channel. No Right Answers Gaming on YouTube for the guys listening uh, on the podcast one. Uh, if you enjoy no. seeing me disappointed, uh, uh, please watch it. Um, so just to uh, leave people in suspense, are you yeah. like rotating that specific item that you got 21 times? No. Yes. 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 I, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do it on the menu. You can just, there's just one button. And it'll make it random every time. Okay. Yeah. Watch the so, video. Watch it's the it's video. a must watch. It is. All right. So this has been it for uh for Space Chicken, you motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> just send a... Oh my um, god. Send all of your hate tweets to uh at Wilson or Mike. Cheese. Uh, oh, oh yeah, at Mike. Mike Burke six six eight. Oh, yes. <laughs> all of, all of your hate tweets are at Mike Burke six six eight. This is. Been a uh, space chicken. <laughs>